Oh, good day and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be entering section 9 for chapter 5 on JavaScript. And we're going to be talking more about function and their usage. In the last video, I said oh, one of the benefits of using function is reuse. It gives you reuse. And we're going to see that in this video. Before we talk about reuse, let's think about our program. Now, your program is going to be long. And the more you code, the more things you're going to want to do, your program will get longer and your program have a definite beginning and a definite end. Now, there are exceptions. Your program, that you can write programs that are long running and sort of don't end. But for the most part, we're gonna say that oh, there's some place that your program must start, the first statement that has to start your program, and the last statement that it can possibly execute. Now, different programming languages have a different way of saying when the start is and where the end is. But for JavaScript, we're gonna say that in our simple program here, the first statement is here on line two and the end is at line 16. My program is much longer than 16 lines and most times it will be. And I use this scroll to kind of represent it that I got from the internet. Um, my start is somewhere up in there and at the top and the end is somewhere at the bottom here. And so again, no matter how long your program is, you're still gonna have this idea of a start and the end. And that is important because the longer your program is, chances are, you're going to have duplication. And so I kind of try and show that idea here with different parts of this scroll. I assume, and again, it was a program. Parts of it might have the same set of lines occurring in multiple places. One of the things we know is that you can take a set of statements and put a name to it, attach a name to it, and we call that a function. So if I have these little light blue boxes repeating throughout my program and they're the same, I can just Put a, attach a name to those set of statements and then now I can reuse that throughout my program instead. Just reuse the name of the function and now what I've done is pretty much refactored my program. I've simplified it. I've made it easier for me to just change the function and because that function is called from multiple places in my code, um, I can easily change it just by making the change one place. It's easier for me to maintain instead of me having to try and find all these different locations in my very long program to make the change. So functions help us with reuse. And that's one of the things um, we said was a benefit of function. Let's look at this example. So here I have a uh, one line in this um, file and one statement and it just prints, you know, we see here, hello, my name is Raul and I love Blue Byer Pie, which is true by the way and so we can run this and of course we get exactly what we see here but what if i wanted to print i really like blueberry pie so what if i wanted to print this out 20 times so here's some code to do that 20 times and all i did was i simply copied this line 20 times right um matter of fact i'm using brackets editor and i use command d and i duplicated it right but anyway so that's all I get this line. So I printed 20 times. And so I get the result. Now, here is a contrived example, and the lines are right next to each other. My duplicated code lines are next to each other. In reality, the longer your program gets and the more complicated it is, you're going to have a number of statements close to each other or right next to each other that are duplicated. So you can imagine that instead of this being one line that's, um, that I want to duplicate, it's several lines. And between those set of duplicated lines are many other statements. And then the same thing that I had somewhere else and blah, blah, blah. And again, there's a really long program. So you have the duplication of one or more lines spread out throughout your code. And so when that happens, what you want to do is go back and start thinking about using functions. And so here I've introduced a function that prints my one line. And now I could just reuse the name of that function. And I have several immediate benefits. First of all, it's easier to make changes to this than to this. Secondly, it's less typing. Once I have this function, look how many characters I have to type to get the same thing printed versus if I had to retype this. Now, yes, you, I can use duplicate and copy and paste. But one of the things you're going to realize, too, is a lot of bugs are introduced with just copying and pasting. But we still do it, and you can't help but doing it. But we still do it. So anyway, so, so that's fine, but it's still easier to paste, copy and paste this line than to paste the entire, um, than paste this. So that's immediate benefit. 
The other thing I can do, because functions can take parameters, and because my taste is likely to change, I can just pass in the name of the food that I'm, is my favorite now, and like here, blueberry pie, and so if I ever need to change this from apple pie or cherry pie, which were my favorite before, um, I can update my program and, you know, it can reflect my current taste. So I don't know what pie is next, but let's say my next pie is rosemary or something. Then I could just come back and change this to rosemary and rerun my code and I'll still have, you know, I'll have my 20 statements. I only change it one place and, um, and that's good. Um, not only that, now I can talk about, you know, reuse this for other people who like other things, all right? And so here, you know, Jack like Italian cuisine. And so I can reuse the exact same function for that. And you can imagine I can use the same function for your favorite thing. And so hopefully with these five examples, you see going through from example one to five, the benefits and more, even more example of reusing functions. And I hope you've learned something new. If you haven't, um, we'll have more opportunities to play with functions. And so just trust me, you're going to get a hang of it if you're still in doubt or it doesn't quite feel right just yet. And maybe in the next video, um, you know, in other future videos, you'll learn something. So I um, want to keep this short and nice for you guys. So I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.